Well, joining us now to talk more about cities of the future is the architect Michel Pratula from the University of Applied Sciences in Potsdam. He's also been working for years on his own vision for the city of the future. Welcome to the show, Michel. Thank you very much. All right, now, how realistic is the model that we saw in the piece as a concept for a vertical city of the future? I think it uh, works as an architectural object and it stands in the tradition of architectural utopian thinking like Le Corbusier or uh, the Japanese Jap uh, metabolistic approaches or Paolo Soleri in the United States. Mm -hmm. But I won't think that it is working uh, in an area like it was shown in the piece in, in, in France or in a, in a landscape. Okay, why not? I think uh, it makes sense in a, in a dense environment like in uh, London, Tokyo, New York to build high-rise buildings because of the economic pressure. Mm -hmm. I don't think that people would prefer uh, to live in a vertical city if they have the landscape, the garden just in front of them. Why? Right, right, right. It seems like it would be a very isolated existence in a structure like that. Um, so having said that, what is your idea of a model city of the future? I believe that cities have to become more self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. They they need to to be very energy efficient, low carbon is the key word. Um, climate adaptive cities is a is a real problem. And also the the water and the nutrient cycles in the city they, they need to be closed. Okay. Is this something you're working on? Yes, I think um, uh, the infrastructure, the, the urban infrastructure, there are many people uh, working there, many concepts existing and uh, prototypes, and it needs to be them Im improved and implemented in the existing cities. All right, well, tell us a little bit more about these concepts, these other concepts for cities of the future. Well, for example, you can use uh, a different sewage system. You can collect the uh, the black water. The waste? Uh, the wastewater, yeah, mm -hmm. um, and change it to... Um, to energy and mm -hmm. still use the uh, the waste then for for the fields as a fertilizer. Mm -hmm. So you you're closing the the material cycle. That's I think is essential for the sustainability of cities. Okay. Um, uh are you familiar with the term urban sprawl? You know, that's when uh, when cities begin to spread out quite a bit. How are city planners and architects like yourself handling this issue of urban sprawl? Well. Um, the reason for the urban sprawl is, uh, or the opportunity, is that we have cheap energy resources. Uh, if energy becomes more expensive, um, the density of city will increase. So I think uh, that has people or urban planners have to uh, to address that uh, people want to live in a green, healthy environment. At the same time, they want to be close in the city and to have public urban transport systems. Electro mobility is a, is a thing they're working now on. New modes of uh, multi modality. Mm -hmm. So mobility. moving in, uh, towards a more clean environment, clean cities seems like the future. Michel Pertula, we thank you very much for this discussion today. Thank you very much.